uh, I bet some of you know what this is. Ooh. Oh man, that snow's heavy. I'm making a, what am I making? I'm making a snow angel. Been doing this since I was a kid. Of course, I'm not a kid anymore. So you say that's ridiculous. You're too old to make a snow angel. Actually, I know people that are probably 40 years, 30, 40 years younger than me that say, you don't make snow angels anymore. Everybody knows that's not appropriate behavior. So we have these things that people like, I would never make a snow angel. I would never make a snowman or have a snowball fight because I'm too old for that or everybody look at me weird. And we let those kinds of social norms dictate what we do in life and take away some of the enjoyment of God's creation. But then we don't listen to the social norms that just make sense. They tell you what you should do and you shouldn't do because why? Destructive behavior. Uh, ruin your life. And you say, don't tell me how to live my life. Have you ever thought about how weird that is? You kind of give up on those things that are just fun, good for you, and maybe even good for your kids or the neighbors or just your friends. But then you push it whether it's on addictive behaviors or it's on um, like s sexual things, whether it's homo or heterosexual stuff, who cares? It's pushing the envelope and saying, you can't tell me how to live my life. Um, society can't tell me how to live my life because there are norm no norms on that. And yet you wouldn't even drop down in the snow and make a snow angel because well, everybody knows you're too old to do that. Think about it. Who and what are you listening to? Jesus says, what? In his word, he's very clear. He wants us to enjoy this world, enjoy his creation, live as a part of it. But the only way to really enjoy God's world and his creation is to be in relationship with him. And that relationship comes uh, in Jesus Christ. So today, the most important thing for you to do is perhaps to not listen to all those voices around you, but listen to the voice of God as he speaks to you through the scriptures.